And for those who enjoy this channel and would love to support us financially, please feel free to hit that donate link. We'd greatly appreciate it. God bless. Hey guys, it's Landon. Today I'm going to be discussing how a specific atheist behavior contradicts a widespread atheist claim. I thought this would be an interesting topic to discuss and go over, so I'll go ahead and begin. What I mean is, atheists commonly state that they don't disbelieve in God, they just lack a belief or have a non-belief in God. So basically they're saying that they can't prove or disprove God's existence, and because there just isn't enough evidence, they lack a belief in Him. This position implies that atheists don't believe because there's not enough evidence. However, it also implies that they're not going to be taking sides as they aren't claiming there's no God and they're just stating there isn't a reason to believe in him. However, when some of these same atheists are confronted with evidence for creation and Christianity, they tend to quickly criticize the evidence and argue with Christians. I'd also like to add that it's not uncommon for these criticisms to be accompanied by rudeness and mockery. In other words, they're arguing for atheism and against theism. You know, a non-belief essentially means you don't have a belief in something. Despite that, atheists are arguing for a supposedly non-existent belief. So, I mean, it's either belief or it's not. I mean, if it's, if it's a non-belief, what is there to talk about? What is there to argue over? So this arguing stands in contrast to the earlier claims that they just don't have a reason to believe in God. You know, the problem is if they merely had a non-belief, why would they argue so fervently against the claim that there's a God? Shouldn't they instead thoroughly examine the evidence to see if it will finally convince them that God exists? I mean, but to conclude, I think that atheists just need to come out and say they don't believe in God. Of course, I doubt many of them will really do that. I mean, I believe that, you know, their claim of a lack of belief is mostly used so that they can basically debate without actually debating. You know, they can criticize Christianity and creationism, but, you know, when asked to make a case or provide evidence of their own, they'll refuse and cite their non-belief. So I'm going to conclude with a Bible verse discussing how knowledge of God is apparent and evident to people. It's interesting that the verse I'm talking about is uh, further confirmed by studies that have shown that people are naturally inclined to believe in God. So the verse I'm talking about is Romans 1.18 through 20. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and read it. I'm using the NASB translation. It says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth and unrighteousness, because that which is known about God is evident within them, for God made it evident to them. For since the creation of the world, His invisible attributes, His eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. So that's definitely one of my favorite Bible verses. We have an innate knowledge of God existing. I think that you know, that's just something that people, people know that He exists, and some people just choose to suppress that. But it's an interesting verse. I just wanted to end with that. So, but yeah, I enjoyed making this video. I thought it was a topic that you know, well, I wanted to discuss it, but it's also something I think that needed to be said. So, thanks for watching, guys. God bless.